Here is a 2024 Porsche Macan GTS silver with leather interior. In 2022, we got a facelift. The rear was changed out with new bumpers and the interior had a reworked center cluster with new wheel designs. In 23, we get the Macan T and with the chrono package, you get 0.2 seconds quicker in the zero to 60, which we have. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and I'm going to go over comparable rivals, what you're getting with the GTS, pros and cons, and a problem that I have with the Porsche. Starting off with the four point LED headlights and daytime runnings. The GTS will only be optioned with air suspension that goes as low as 6.9 inches and raises as high as 8.5 inches to give you either a dynamic feel so you could take some of the bins because this is basically a sports car in an SUV or it'll lift up to give you a luxury drive for the long haul. But what's special is underneath the hood, it's a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 with 434 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque paired to a seven speed PD K. Reaching 60 at 4.3 seconds, we got the chrono package, so it's at 4.1 seconds. Quarter mile at 12.7 seconds. Now going into competition, BMW X3M, 473 horsepower, so it's gonna have more. Add the competition package for a few grand, and you're gonna have 503. The zero to 60 standard is at 3.9 seconds, so it's a little bit quicker than this. As for Audi, the SQ5, it's gonna be at five seconds. It's gonna be less horsepower and torque. And the same thing for the bins. It's gonna be a little bit slower and less horsepower, but more torque. So it's kind of the sweet spot if you're wanting to get the sports car lifted up from Porsche and you're still achieving 17 MPGs for the city and 22 MPGs for the highway. Upgraded 21 inch wheels, giving more of a sport design. Six piston front brakes with the black calipers and you get the carbon fiber on the side blade which is an extra charge with the gts badging all macans will tow up to 4409 pounds the payload on the gts will drop to 1288 pounds which you can get around 1400 pounds for a payload the macan t will be kind of the sweet spot because you get the adaptive suspension and you'll get the chrono package with its standard shedding two tenths of a second off the standard in every trim but the gts will get a little bit more ground clearance whether standard or going up to nearly nine inches of clearance and you can option a steel suspension over eight inches four point led tail lights with the light bar the lower gets the quad exhaust tips with the diffuser and the tow package, front and rear parking sensors with the reverse camera with an optional 360 degree reverse camera. Porsche is one of those vehicles that's very customizable. So you can do a lot of features on the exterior and in the interior to make it more the way you like it. But once you start doing that, the price will go well over six figures pretty quick. Whenever you're looking at rival perspective, BMW will be one of the least expensive in class but you're not going to be able to tailor it as much as a Porsche. Power liftgate going into 17.2 cubic feet of storage. We get a 12 volt charger. It is an air suspension so you can lower or raise the suspension to make it easier to load. A little storage nook. We get the donut underneath. The privacy cover, pretty easy to come off. Just a couple of little pieces here. So that way it can make it easier for me because I'm tall to split fold this rear bench at a 60-40 split. It's going to increase cargo to 54 cubic feet. But we need to go inside and start up this GTS so you can hear that exhaust now. power seat adjustment, leather sport bucket seats with the GTS and the headrest, heated front seats, memory for the driver and passenger. Headroom and leg room. We have quite a bit of upgrades in the interior with the carbon fiber that's gonna be on the dash with the satin aluminum. You get the contrast stitching. 
carbon fiber around the three spoke leather wrap steering wheel that's heated and the gauge cluster will have an array of information for the driver including your turn-by-turn -turn navigation. And the nice thing is we have the driver mode select right here. So you can click it on the fly for all of your individual, normal, sport, or sport plus. And to push in for the boost, which is a 20 second sport response. Carbon fiber on the shifter. And the infotainment screen has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. And you can also do two screen layout here. So you can always have the navigation. Put it into reverse and we have a reverse camera with front and rear parking sensors, full trajectory for reversing. Dual climate control settings, carbon fiber on the side. I kind of wish it was a little pass through so that way we have a little bit more storage and the adjustments to raise or lower the height because the GTS is standard air suspension and this is where it makes it nice and noisy. The key fob for the Porsche Macan. This will slide up, so that way it's not just an elbow rest. And it's going to be a little bit more sporty. It opens up into a wireless charging pad, USB ports, and a little bit of storage. Auto dimming rear view mirror, no pano moonroof, and your toggle switches for the lights, the dashboard, and the door panels configure it together. Getting the carbon fiber inlays, it's going to be more sport derived. One touch up and down for all the windows with dual pane windows on the sides. A large storage pocket that you can fit a larger flask towards the front with the Bose sound system. With a storage pocket for both of the front seats. For the back, headroom and legroom. It's gonna be a little bit more cramped because I would be driving. Storage behind both of the front seats, air vents, USB ports, armrests that are actually usable because the cup holders are in the center. The door panel gets the same materials that is found in the front, more sporty, and it is a little bit more push back for your arm, but you still have this little area here to rest with a deep storage pocket. Sliding to the center, the floor isn't flat, so you have to pick your feet up. The rails are not pushed up enough, so I'll be sharing some feet space, but in shoulder space as well, because it's not that wide of a vehicle. It's basically a sports car picked up to an SUV, Headroom though isn't too bad sitting into the center over six foot tall. 434 horsepower with 405 pound-feet of torque out of this 2.9 liter twin turbo V6. In sport mode, you go under seven inches, which this is the only trim that goes that low for ground clearance, which makes it just a little bit more agile. And you're getting a quarter mile at 12.7 seconds. So overall, it is a great bargain, especially when you option the chrono package, which we have, it does shed about two tenths of a second. So it's not a huge difference. That's something that you could either tick on there or say, you know what, I just don't want it. There is a lot of police out today, which even coming here, I was being followed because these type of vehicles, that's what happens. I like on the steering wheel that you have the 12 o'clock and the carbon fiber, any part that you add, it's added extra. So on the gear lever, that's an extra cost. Through the dashboard or interior elements, that's an extra cost. So that is one thing that I feel it would be nice if they added some of those amenities to the vehicle just because we're at the GTS level. But I can understand where they're going at because you're already at a low MSRP pricing when you're considering that you can get this vehicle right at 86, 87 grand. And this is what I mean, getting pulled over as soon as I get out of the dealership. We'll be back in scene two. So if you wanna know what happened, ask me in the comments. As for turn radius at a stop point, kind of, sort of, it's gonna be kind of tight. It's about two lanes. The exhaust does filter in nicely. I like when you're on this Sport Plus mode that you have the capabilities of going lower to the ground because it makes it feel a little bit more agile. gets up to speed really quickly. 
it's going to take me to some pros and cons and starting off with the pros is when you're getting the chrono package it does shed some off the zero to 60 so you're getting full potential out of that twin turbo v6 engine the interior still feels soft and plush if i want it to be quiet i just simply put it into normal mode not a big issue the steering is tight which means whenever i steer just a touch either left or right i'm on point where i need to be going into some cons when you get into the gts you do lose for payload you cannot get a steel suspension the only thing you can option is a air suspension and it's not going to be the fastest in class for what you're paying for price point. As for comparable rivals like BMW, Mercedes, and Audi, Audi will be the least performance out of them. But look at what you got. You get a little spit, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like, and I'd like to thank Porsche for giving us this 2024 Porsche Macan GTS for our car review.